the eagerly awaited press conference for the KSI vs. Fury and Logan vs. Dennis fights took an unexpected turn, descending into chaos with a series of dramatic incidents. And the internet is here for some good old chaotic drama. Welcome back to another episode of Get Curious. Wanna know what really happened during the KSI Fury and Logan Dennis press conference? Well, we know you do. But first, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more videos from us. Now, without further ado, let's get right into it. Dylan Danis, hailing from New York, had been relentless in his mockery of Logan Paul's fiance, the model Nina Angel, using Twitter as his platform to stoke anticipation for their impending confrontation. From the moment the fight was announced, Dylan Danis seemed determined to amplify the personal stakes taking every available chance to target Nina Agdal, the supermodel, and Logan Paul's fiancé. Dennis chose to go to lengths that included publicly discussing Agdal's history, a move that intensified the already charged atmosphere surrounding the impending match. This ongoing feud heightened the stakes and excitement surrounding their eventual exchange, as fans were eager to witness the verbal fireworks between the two opponents. Adding to the animosity, Dennis has developed a track record of failing to appear for scheduled fights, a reputation that conveniently provided Logan Paul with a motive to retaliate. This history of flakiness created a platform for Paul to seek his long-awaited retribution. He initiated his response by launching a dedicated website, meticulously tallying the days that Dylan Dennis remained absent from actual fights. The landing page of this website featured a striking image a birthday cake representing Dennis, symbolizing his knockout status in one of the rare occasions he did show up for a fight. In this photo, there is a very noticeable bulge in the part where his privates are. But going back to the press conference. Well, the event kicked off with Dennis, known for his provocative tactics, arriving with a prop that echoed a controversial moment from Logan Paul's past, the S asterisk 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 the forest video incident, a video that almost derailed Logan's career. He showed up wearing a hat that is similar to what Paul was wearing in that video. In a retaliatory move, Logan Paul countered by unveiling a poster featuring an image of Dennis being subdued by a bouncer. Additionally, he introduced a birthday cake as a prop, the one mentioned earlier depicting Dennis lying unconscious with an again noticeable bulge in the private area. Which, let's be honest, is a blatant and offensive jab at his opponent. This quickly escalated things as they got personal with each other, and the attention was directed towards the two of them, with KSI and Fury being just spectators at this instance. Around 20 minutes into the conference, the situation escalated to a new level of disorder. John Fury, the outspoken father of Tyson Fury had his five minutes of screen time and disrupted the proceedings by knocking promotional materials off the set and flipping tables from the stage. This unexpected outburst prompted KSI to react, visibly offended by his table being thrown. And he stood up, seemingly ready to engage in a confrontational exchange with John Fury. Way to go, man. Simultaneously, Logan Paul elevated the frenzy by standing on his chair and enthusiastically rallying in support of the chaotic atmosphere. Amid John Fury's impassioned display, Logan took things a step further by hurling the cake towards Dennis, an action that triggered heightened anger and frustration from Dennis. In retaliation, Dennis seized a nearby microphone and hurled it at Logan Paul, further escalating the tensions. Due to the chaotic situation caused by John Fury's actions, organizers were forced to evacuate everyone from the scene in order to restore some semblance of control for the anticipated face-offs. Unfortunately, despite the fervor of the buildup, the face-off between Logan and Dennis did not happen for reasons that we are not yet sure of. However, the audience was treated to a confrontation between KSI and Fury during their face-off delivering the excitement fans had been waiting for. The heated exchange culminated in KSI forcefully shoving Fury forward, providing a dramatic conclusion to the much-anticipated press conference. The entire event showcased a level of chaos and intensity that captivated the audience and generated significant buzz around the upcoming fights. 
both KSI, whose real name is Olajide Olatunji, and Logan Paul, prominent YouTube personalities, share a business partnership in the energy drink company Prime. Their upcoming boxing matches are scheduled for October, and the venue chosen for these highly anticipated bouts is none other than London's iconic Wembley Arena. KSI's most recent fight took place in May, resulting in a controversial knockout victory over Joe Fournier that was subsequently overturned due to his use of an illegal elbow. On the other side, Tommy Fury, the half-brother of heavyweight boxing champion Tyson Fury, secured a points victory over Logan Paul's brother, Jake Paul, in February, showcasing his prowess in the boxing ring. Tommy Fury has boldly declared his intentions to put an end to the era of celebrity boxing if he emerges victorious against KSI. Logan Paul, despite his recent involvement in WWE, is no stranger to the world of boxing. He gained considerable experience by taking on Floyd Mayweather in a match two years prior. Dylan Dennis, on the other hand, comes from a background closely tied to the UFC, having been a former teammate of the iconic Conor McGregor. Dennis specializes in jiu-jitsu, adding an intriguing dynamic to his clash with Logan Paul. Dennis's controversial actions pushed boundaries, inciting a fiery response from Logan Paul. Amidst the chaos at the press conference, plans for a face-off were abruptly canceled, leaving fans disappointed. As fighters left the scene, the spotlight now shifted to their social media exchanges, where the verbal sparring is expected to intensify. After the press conference's abrupt end, Dylan Dennis took to Twitter to counter Logan Paul's claims that he avoided the face-off. He expressed frustration with what he saw as disrespect, particularly since Logan had arranged for Mike Perry as a replacement fighter in case Dennis backed out. Dennis also asserted that he had to leave due to police intervention. It could also be seen in the video footage of the press conference. During the chaos, Dennis was the only fighter who was restrained and held back by multiple security guards. Logan Paul swiftly responded to Dennis's tweet, accusing him of cowardice and revealing that Dennis appeared visibly nervous during the confrontation. Paul detailed Dennis's reaction to being hit with the cake, describing it as a temper tantrum before storming out of the arena. He further accused Dennis of fabricating his subsequent Twitter posts. In a continuation of their online feud, Dylan Dennis replied with another photo, this time showing Logan Paul's fiancé with her ex-boyfriend, Jack Brinkley Cook. This response further escalated the personal nature of their exchanges and demonstrated that neither fighter was backing down from using social media to throw verbal jabs and share provocative content. Dylan has persisted in sharing similar photos on social media platforms like Twitter. However, some of these images have been questioned for their authenticity and credibility. However, Logan Paul has said that he is unfazed, asserting that the shared photos have no impact on him and that he is the happiest. Following the press conference's unexpected conclusion, Logan Paul turned to Twitter to share his perspective on the failed face-off. He alleged that his opponent, Dennis, had thrown a tantrum that ultimately led to the cancellation of the planned face-off between them. On the other hand, Dylan Dennis took a unique approach by suggesting a street meeting in London for a face-off. However, Logan Paul didn't show any signs of considering or engaging with the idea. This ongoing exchange on Twitter underscores how much modern combat sports promotion extends beyond the ring, with fighters leveraging their online presence to shape the narrative, heighten anticipation, and engage fans in a way that transcends traditional pre-fight activities. The anticipation for their upcoming fight remains high, fueled by their online rivalry and the unexpected turn of events at the press conference. And, well, surely, we've got yet so much more to witness. That ends this video. What do you think of the behavior exhibited by Dennis? Do you think his strategy for getting into Logan Paul's head and winning the mind game is working? Most of all, what other unexpected or perhaps chaotic turnabouts do you think will happen in the upcoming weeks leading to the fight? Who do you think is likely to win between KSI and Fury? And if none of the two backs out, how about Paul and Dennis? Place your bets 
and let us know all your thoughts in the comments section below. Please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. This is Get Curious. Thank you for watching, and we will see you in the next video.